all right hey guys how's it going it's joy i am back again with another video i hope that you guys are doing well and i hope that you guys are staying safe so you guys um i just wanted to do a real quick video just to check in with you guys um um i wanted to talk a little bit about the narcissist right we we know um this channel is all about you know overcoming rethinking and coping after dealing with narcissistic abuse me myself if you are new welcome if you're returning hey but if you are new um my name is joy and i am a narcissist abuse coach i've been dealing with narcissists since 2006 and since 2017 i've been helping former victims and now survivors um overcome move on and heal after dealing with the narcissist so just real quick you guys i wanted to talk about how you know sometimes when you are you know having contact with your narcissist or maybe you have some sort of relationship with them maybe you have to co uh, exist with them in some sh shape or form and way i want to let you know that whatever it is that they're telling you a lot of the times it's not true it's not real um they're not going to take action on it um you know a lot of times they're just lying you know as we talked about in um previous videos now don't get me wrong sometimes normal people may say or some some normal people can have a, like a couple white lies or two you know no one's perfect but when we're talking about a narcissist we understand that they are pathological liars right like literally anything and everything that they say out of their mouth is a lie right so we we all are you know coming to understand and kind of come into terms that whatever it is that the narcissist is saying to you cannot and should not be taken seriously um but also you know it's a lot of times the things that they say to you is done for you know control reasonings for you know gaining power control for manipulation and also you know really to make you feel bad and make you feel less than and worthy of yourself and make you feel like you're not good enough you know and so um you do just kind of want to keep that in mind when it comes to dealing with the narcissist so just understand that you know even if it, it could be like you know if it's a romantic partner even if it's a family member a, a in-law a friend or an associate just understand that they say they may um want to make plans or say that they're going to do things for you they may promise you things they may get your hopes up and you know they may make you feel excited you know and then out of nowhere they'll come in and they'll disappoint you they'll let you down you know they'll break your heart you know they'll make you uh, feel sad and you know depressed and stressed out and the thing is is you guys you got to remember when you're dealing with the narcissist they're doing this on purpose they want you to feel down and out they want you to feel depressed they want you to feel ugly they don't want you to feel beautiful they don't want you to feel handsome they want you to feel low they want to break your spirit at all costs and you as the former victim and now survivor you can't allow this narcissist or this particular person in your life to do this to you because obviously you deserve the best you deserve more right and I, I kind of had an inspiration for this topic because um, a person in the um, the chat when we were on the live, um, shout out to those of you that come on a live that, you know, like the videos and all that good stuff. I truly, truly appreciate you guys. But, you know, the person was just saying, well, two things. For one, you know, they was just saying that um, the narcissist, the, her and the narc were done. And some way, somehow the narcissist just continues to keep reaching out to her, pretty much won't leave her alone, you know, um, but then also the narcissist is making up lies and saying that, you know, she's the bad person. She's the reason why the the relationship didn't work out. She's the, the one that was the, the quote unquote, the villain in the relationship. She what is the one as to why they're not together anymore. You know, she has the problem. She needs to fix things and she needs to come back and make this right and make this work. So you just want to keep that in mind that the narcissist will do this, you know, purposely. You know, a lot of times that is the smear campaign, but also the narcissist does needs to stay face because remember, we all know or we are understanding and learning that narcissists are all about image, you know, so they have to be perfect. Like, you know, no one can say anything bad about them. No one can criticize them. No one can, you know, speak down on their name, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, that's going to ruin the narcissist's reputation. Now, we all understand, like, no one's perfect. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. So there's going to be some things, even myself today, that I'm still improving on and learning and working through. You get what I'm saying? Um, but when it comes to a narcissist, no, no, no. Like, you can't say anything about them. You can't make any um, suggestions, no feedback, no constructive criticism, nothing. Like, if you do, you know, essentially the narcissist is going to see that as a narc injury, you know, and you're going to be their enemy, you know, because, and see, that's the thing that separates us from narcissists because normal people, 
we can be like, okay, you know what? Maybe I do need to work on this. Maybe I do need to self-reflect. Maybe I do need to improve on this. Maybe I do need to do some self-assessments and to kind of reassess things. You get what I'm saying? So they can improve and, you know, really become a better version of themselves. But because the narcissist is so stuck in their ways, they don't have that capacity and that capability to be able to do that because of their stubbornness, because of their personality disorder, because of their fragile ego, and because of their sense of entitlement and and the feeling that they're perfect and feeling like, oh, um, nothing is wrong with me. You know, it's everyone else's fault. You guys get what I'm saying? So you just want to keep that in mind. But also, um, I don't know, like some narcissists are just plain old mean. Like, I got to be honest. You know, they're bullies, essentially. They're, they're bullies. And a lot of them actually are... I mean, they're adults, but they behave like children. And like, for those of you that have had parents that are narcissists, you know what I'm talking about, right? Or, you know, your partners or an in-law that's a narc, they behave, they're adults, but they behave like children. They're like their attitudes, their behaviors, and, you know, um, just the way that they relate to you, the way that they talk to you and stuff like that, right? Um, but the person was just saying how the narcissist was calling her ugly. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like you are not ugly. Like you are very, very beautiful. So don't listen to what the narcissist is saying, especially if it doesn't feel good. If it doesn't make sense to you, if you know that it's not what you truly are, you know, um, you just want to ignore what the narcissist is saying. As I said before, whatever the nar whatever the narcissist is saying to you out of their mouth, remember you guys, they're, they're lying. They're making things up. You know, they're, they're spreading false rumors. You know, they're trying to cause up chaos. They're, they're trying to start drama because a lot of times many narcissists, their life is crazy, hectic. So they want to make your life just like that. A lot of them are miserable. So they want to make you miserable. A, a lot of them are very unsatisfied. A lot of them are very bored. A lot of them are very discontent with themselves. So you don't want to allow them to project that energy onto you. So I hope that that made sense, you guys. Um, just remember now it, the thing is, this is where the, the tricky part comes in because let's say you don't know that this person is a narc, right? You want to just make sure that you pay attention to how they're talking to you, how they're treating you, how they're behaving and the way that they make you feel the way that a person makes you feel says a lot, right? So if they're making you feel good, um, in the beginning, okay, but is it long lasting? Is it long term, right? Because the things that can separate normal people from narcissists is the narc can actually switch it up. Now, this could also, a toxic person can do this too. A toxic person could switch up. An unhealthy person could switch up. But the thing with that separates toxic people, unhealthy people with a narcissist is that uh, toxic people and unhealthy people can definitely take accountability. You know, they can come back around and say, hey, you know what? That was my mistake. My bad. I realized I was wrong, you know, blah, blah, blah. But with a narc, you're never going to get that. You see the difference? The narcissist is completely, you know, uh, there's a car going by. Sorry about that, you guys. It's so loud. People just love attention. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, like with a narcissist, you're not going to get any sort of like reconciliation, no sort of bygones, be bygones, no closure, no sort of, um, you know, completion of that sort of relationship. You guys see what I'm saying? And But the key is, is that the narcissist does this on purpose because they want you to think about them. They want you to be depressed. They want you to be stressed out. They want you to ruminate. They want you to um, be miserable, you know. So, oh, these chickens is in the background, you guys. <laughs> So anyway, with that being said, I think the chickens are like, oh, you're done. Or it's a rooster or something like that. But anyway, y'all. <laughs> so I hope that this made sense, you guys. I would love to know what was your takeaway, your feedback. Um, you know, if you do, you know, maybe... Um, you know, have some challenges or have some obstacles when it comes to self-esteem. I want to link a link below that's going to help you to kind of rebuild your sense of self, rebuild your self-worth because the narcissist is going to break you down. They're going to try their best. Um, but as long as, of course, if you stay close to God and you stay around the, the, uh, the right people and then you're educating yourself, you're doing that self-reflection, you're doing the self-improvement and you want to help yourself. Or if you're like, Hey, you know, what? I want to get support, then that's going to be able to help you to rebuild your sense of self, your self-esteem, um, your value and your worth. Because again, when you're around these narcissistic people, they're going to kill, they're going to break your spirit. They're going to kill your dreams. They're going to, um, want to make you feel low, just like how they feel. And you don't want to allow no, no one to do that because you deserve more, right? So anyway, I hope that this made sense. You guys be sure to give this video a like, share, and subscribe. I would love to know your takeaway, your feedback. Don't forget you guys, please feel free to join my free Facebook support group. Um, we do have over, I think 30 something members now. So shout out to, I think it was, um, I think it was like, a, a Tashi. 
that was the one that was kind of bringing folks in the um the group so um but please feel free to join i definitely want to go to grow the group to like 100 members um starting this month early september and even a thousand members um within the next couple of months and make sure that you are subscribed to the channel don't forget to get your copy of my book called your pain will make you successful and um reclaim your life back that's definitely going to be some really good tools for you to, that's going to help you on your healing journey and recovery you know um and that sort of thing and then also and that actually too, too did help me reading books was a, a key key factor besides you know god and some other things that i did at the time which you know doing yoga and just really doing self-care routines and stuff like that but definitely get your copies of my books you can um send me an email after this video um and stuff like that reach out to me you can visit my website and all that sort of thing but um also to any other support you would like from me um please feel free to book a support session or inquire about my 90-day coaching program on overcoming narcissistic abuse i know you guys it's not easy doing this like this journey it was not easy i'm not gonna lie you guys it was it was a challenge and i had my my obstacles i had my setbacks i had my delays but god was with me the people that were like-minded was with me and you know i i started to love myself because i don't know if i shared with you guys before i, I didn't love myself i didn't even like myself you guys but Thank God I was able to overcome that. And I just did that by spending time by myself. Like I said, just studying and um, learning about myself, learning about also the um, the personality disorder of the individuals that I was dealing with. But, um, you know, just understanding my worth and my value and, you know, seeing myself through the eyes of God, not necessarily the, the world or the narcissist or any other people that was around me during that time. And just being around, you know, my really good friends that were super, super helpful and sweet and just journaling and stuff like that. So anyways, you guys, um, I love you so much. Um, be sure to give this video a like. Like I said, leave a comment. I want to know your feedback, what you guys suggest, and any other topics that you guys would like for me to do in regards to narcissists or mental health or anything. Um, I would really love to know. Um, so that way we can make a video like this. Um, but be sure to tune into my live on Sunday. Make sure that you guys are following me on IG, um, like my uh, Facebook page, um, my LinkedIn, and my Twitter as well. So, um, but till the next time, I love you guys. Take care. Bye.